Right, so let's have a look at propagating Arando Danax or Spanish Reed. So this is a real easy propagator. Um, done it a couple of years back. Got some good clumps out of the propagation. So you can see we're looking at the, the main plant here. Let's like say well over three meters plus. Um, getting a few new canes this year even though it's been really dry and it is a reed not a bamboo even though it looks similar in a way I think it looks nicer because the, the leaves are bigger and there's some this is a variegated form as well but um, yeah so we've got some new canes this year which are already well over two meters but um, yeah let's get on to the propagating so real easy when you at the end of the year a lot of people chop these down to the ground which is fine but if you do that you want to save the canes and this is how you propagate it but i've done it in the middle of summer because that propagates a lot quicker obviously with the the heat um so basically i don't cut mine back i leave mine and you know we don't get it cold enough to to kill it back here but anyway, so to propagate, cut a cane as low as you can. It's a bit hard for me because I've got like a raised trough with some bamboo at the front and then the, the uh, Spanish reed is actually in the ground behind it. Um, so I can't really get to sort of ground level. But, you know, cut as much of the cane as you can. And basically I'll, I'll show you what we've got here. This is a a tray just filled with water so you, you've got your your cane which may be two three meters plus and you want to chop that into sections so basically everywhere every node spacing there's actually two nodes on that so I literally cut this um, about five days ago and it's already sprouted so, like a lot of plants, you need that node. That's going to be the growth point. And you can see here, look at this one. Just in in the five days they've been cut, that them shoots have grown. So we've got two two shoots coming off that. So what you'll do is, like I say, cut your cane into. Literally, you could go two, three inch um, portions. This one already had a, like a side shoot, so I left it on anyway. But it's, as you can see, it's grown a new shoot there. Um, yeah, so you've got your, your cane chopped up. Just chuck it in a tray of water. And you, you know, I've, I've had this in a greenhouse, so it's been warm. And uh, just top the water, make sure it doesn't dry out. And yeah, you'll get the shoots like this. This one's a real good example. So you get the shoots come up first. Three shoots on that one. And you don't want to pot this up until it's got roots. So you will get roots from each shoot. So you're going to get a good little root ball on that. And at that point you could probably cut it again if you want to between the, the nodes. So you've got basically two plants, two or three plants from there. So once you've got the roots, then you can pot it up. And then uh, by, um, I'd say you probably want to protect it for the first year. So I'm doing this in the summer. So I expect to get roots in another week or two, at which point I'll pot up. And um, fine outside over the summer and autumn, but first winter, from propagation so I'd protect them so put them in your greenhouse because they're going to be potted anyway um, yeah and then the year after the propagation so next summer you'd expect maybe four foot and then yeah the next summer you should expect some more shoots coming off that clump because they do offshoot a bit like bamboo but not as vigorous and then yeah, you've done your propagation and you can get it in the ground a second year. 
if you wish or pot on whatever and uh, yeah a couple of years down the line you'll get huge canes so yeah real real easy propagation so a lot of these this is a seem to be the lower down you go this is not scientific but it does seem to be a little bit slower so you can see there is a a shoot coming out there but the further up you go as the cane gets thinner it seems to be a lot more vigorous but yeah so if you've got a, a small clump and you want to rather than divide it you know sacrifice one cane propagate it then you can have lots of clumps look at that let's say five days growth quite impressive so if you're going to do this over the winter, if you chop, chop it down in the autumn, a lot of people do, so it will regrow to about three metres in a season. You can uh, do it over winter, like I say, just keep it in a warm place, put it on a, you can do a, a, a smaller, longer tub or whatever with water, put it on your radiator, that'll still, still go. Might take a little bit longer. But yeah, don't pop up, don't pot it up until you've got some roots on it. A real short one. Sprouting. So this is a, a good example. So I did leave some with the old sheath on there. Well you can remove that but as you can see it's, it's popping through that anyway so Yeah, so from this is a fairly small cane to be fair, this was only about a metre and a half. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get loads of pots out of that to propagate and uh, grow on. So that is a real easy way to uh, propagate Arando Danix. I mean, I suppose you can, a cheap way of buying it, you can get them on eBay. Um, three or four cuttings similar to this and uh, for, for literally yeah, a couple of quid but if you've got some you want to propagate it that's the way to do it right thanks for watching